Hello dear students, welcome back to the another session of social studies. Today we are on lesson number 4, our energy resources. Now in this chapter we are going to learn about energy resources, renewable and non-renewable resources of energy in India, conservation of resources. Now let's do the warm up session. Which of the following cannot be done without using electricity? So the options are calling a friend, seeing in the dark, watching television, using the computer, freezing ice, heating food. So calling a friend, we don't need any electricity. Seeing in the dark, we need or we don't need any electricity. Seeing in the dark. Now, watching television, we need electricity. Using the computer, we need electricity. Freezing the eyes, we need electricity. Then while heating the food also, we need electricity. So these are the things which required electricity. Now electricity is a form of energy. Energy is a force that makes things work. Now resources. Nature has provided us with many things like air, water, sunlight, minerals, forest and wildlife that prove useful to us in many ways. These gifts are called natural resources. So all these resources, air, water, sunlight, minerals, forest and wildlife are called the natural resources. Things made by humans using these natural resources are called human made resources. All these resources help us in meeting our daily needs. So all these resources like air we use we convert the air and into fans and then sunlight we convert into solar energy minerals as, as well as forest wildlife water all these which are used which are the which are made by the humans are known as the human made resources <coughs> now types of natural resources all resources on earth are classified into two categories renewable and non-renewable now renewable resources means the resources which can be used again and again it is known as renewable and non-renewable means where it is where which is used only once and cannot be used again it is known as non-renewable so the difference uh, situation is given in this box let us see Renewable resources, resources that can, that can be replenished naturally over time. Non-renewable resources, resources that are not replenished at the space at which they are consumed. These resources can be generated over and again. So they are also known as inexhaustible resources. So the renewable resources can be generated uh, over and over and it does not get ex uh, exhaust these resources cannot be replenished once finished they are also known as exhaustible resources examples include wind water and sunlight examples include fuels coal petroleum natural gas and metals I and metals iron copper aluminium gold etc Renewable resources. Renewable energy is generated using the power of natural resources like sunlight, water, wind and biomass. Now what is biomass? It means plant and animal waste. Solar energy is the energy that comes from the sun. Solar means related to the sun. It is harnessed. Harnessed means controlled and made used to produce energy using solar panels. It is used in appliances like heaters and cookers. Wind is also used to generate electricity using windmills. Rainwater and tides are used for generating electricity. Biomass energy is derived from organic material that comes from plants and animals. For example, agricultural waste like cow dung. Biomass is used for heating and cooking, especially in rural areas. <coughs> Now activity name and identify the type of energy resources. Now these are the resources you have to identify which are the types of resources. Now name of the energy resources we can see the this is a picture of a 
cow dung. So what kind of energy it is? You have to identify whether it is renewable or non-renewable resources. Renewable resources means which can be used again and again. Non-renewable resources means which cannot be used after it gets finished. So all this you have to identify and write it down. Now, second question is find out names of places in India where renewable resources of energy are harnessed. For example, Ratnagiri in Maharashtra for wind energy. So example is given Ratnagiri in Maharashtra for wind energy. It generates wind energy. The wind project is in Ratnagiri. Now, non-renewable resources, minerals, fuels like coal, petroleum and natural gas are some non-renewable resources. Coal is the most important mineral used for generating heat and electricity, running steam engines and machines in factories. So, coal, it is used for generating heat and electricity as well as it is also used in steam engines, in running steam engines and also used in machines which are you which are being used by the workers in the factories now petroleum is mainly used to produce petrol diesel and other products petrol and diesel are used as fuel to run vehicles on land air and water kerosene and liquefied petroleum gas that is lpg are used in cooking so all these non-renewable resources, once it get finished, we cannot use it again and again. For example, when a cylinder gets over, can we renew the cylinder? No doubt we can renew the cylinder by filling it up, but can we reuse it by uh, applying different uh, ways? No. Now natural gas is used as fuel in many vehicles. You know what, most of the resources we talk about are needed for comfortable living and even survival. But there is another way to think about resources. There are the resources we use to have fun. They are called recreational resources. Now conservation of resources. How can we conserve our resources which are available on the planet earth? We should not waste our resources and use them wisely. Overuse and wastage of non-renewable resources leads to their depletion. Depletion means great reduction. The following steps should be undertaken to conserve our resources. Conserve means to keep something safe. We should plant more trees. We should not pollute our natural resources. We should reduce our dependence on non-renewable resources and develop ways to use renewable resources better. Now students, we have exercises that is filling the blanks. Question number one is electricity is a form of dash. So what is the answer? Electricity is a form of energy. Next, dash and dash are the two types of energy resources. So the answer will be renewable. and non renewable next since coal and natural gas cannot be replaced at the same speed at which they are used up these are also known as dash it is known as non renewable resources Dash energy is derived from the waste of plants and animals. So answer is biomass. Dash and dash are used as fuels in the kitchen. So kerosene and LPG. <coughs> now unscramble the lettuce to get the correct answer. Electricity is produced using wind energy. So answer you have to write. What is What will be the answer? It will be wind mill. The resources using which petrol, diesel and kerosene are made. It is known as petroleum.
Next, solar energy is harnessed using the dash. You have to write the answer. That is solar panel. <clears throat> Next, fuel used to run train engines. Answer will be coal. River water is used to produce it. Answer, electricity. Next, we have state true T or false F. Energy can only be derived from substances made by human. It is false. Solar energy is harnessed using pressure cookers. False. Resources are of two types, natural and human made. True. Natural gas is produced from coal. False. Coal is an important mineral used for generating heat and electricity. True. So this is the end of the chapter. I hope so you have understood the chapter. Till then students, take care and thank you so much. <laughs>